Greetings, friends, and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft Legacy of the Void. I'm Flop, as you may know. And we have talked the talk. It is now time to walk the walk. Uh, oh, well, let's go to the War Council, actually. We got some Protoss elites up in here. A preserver released from stasis. She sounds tough. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought. But I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every robot. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all preservers, I hold the memories and personalities. I think she might be scantily clad by Protoss standards. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past executives. From this chamber, you will be able to make all Oh great, the ultimate backseat driver. That's how Protoss flirt. It is understood. Decrees and axioms and stuff. Also, she has the most incredible weave. We may begin whenever you are ready. Uh -huh. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from birth to master every intricacy of the mm. Kana. I have experienced its true depth. Plunged the infinite spectrum of emotion and memory. It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis. So that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your well, let's get them all out here. The other archships. Oh. Then they are one with the Kala, fallen during the Zerg invasion of Ayr. I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us more deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohan. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this. There's like a zealot running around the background here. Serve my purpose much as you must serve yours. All right, <laughs> look at him go. Oh, my goodness! I wonder if there's a a uh, dark Templar running around with him, like cloaked, chatting. Probably freaks out the zealots. Oh, they're looking, they're closer with their little oh, their little shrouds. Sounds good. Select a warrior category to begin. Now you may choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent and can be altered as our combat needs change. Ooh, customization already. Any battles await you, Hierarch. Choose a faction and lead them to glory. Alright, so we can have zealots or What? Whirlwind Zealots. What could you offer me that... Oh. Oh, that's what you could offer me. Huh. Uh, I think. <coughs> it's 
a tough call. I think Cleave is good against weaker units. Uh, probably just fantastic against Zerg in general. Um, where is the stun? Ten, wow. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Brief it cloaks the center and allows it to move through other units. All right, I'm going to go with these guys. Forty shields over five seconds. <laughs> oh, dragoons! I hope your pathing is better, you jerks. So they're slower, they don't blink, but they do serious damage. Well, let's take a look at these Dragoons. Um, these look a fine time to try them out. I think. I mean, Blink is fantastic, and not having Blink. Let's see what the mission is and come back. Sky Shield's in serious trouble, old buddy. If we can't bring it back online, August Grad's gonna take a hmm. bigger sized impact. Mobius Corps soldiers are on the platform now, and those guys are suicidal. Rather die than let us stop. Okay. Secure two stabilizers within three minutes of each other. Don't let the timer go below four minutes. Okay. Uh, sounds like I am going to want... The stalkers for this one. Stoked about the Zealot upgrade, though. <clears throat> okay, let's go. That was a good... Looks like Ghosts and Reapers. Alright, so, um, just to recap, uh, this uh, large Sky Shield satellite is falling towards uh, the planet towards August grad and we have to turn on some stuff probably and Mobius core is all uh, for ire about uh, killing it except not for ire for that other thing Satan I mean Amon Amon Man, if these are the customization options I have now, I can't wait to see what they are later in the game. Probably freaking fantastic. Come on, stealthy zealots. Okay, looking at our stuff. Marauders, Reapers. Ghosts. Siege tanks. Can patch up those I 
We get immortals for this, right? Okay, we need five stabilizers. Okay. Keeping these little guys coming. Weapons cluster is activated. Yeah, it's pretty boss. Oh. I like where this is going. Oh. Our zealots with their stun did a good job. Orbital strikes can now be fired from the spear of a Doom's command panel hierarch. Okay. Durability calculations updated. Commander, your construction vehicles can begin the repairs. Thanks, Artanis. My boys are putting a sensor tower here. Should alert you if Mobius course went through this area. You must construct additional pylons. This will provide us with supply we can use to train new warriors. Alright, well, if we've got stuff piling up, let's go for ground weapons. Let's go for infrastructure. Let's kill those little dudes. Okay. Let's take this thing out. Cancel. It. My conjecture was correct. These solarite reactors can be used to improve the solar core's energy output. I detect two more of these devices on the platform. If possible, you should seek them out. Uh huh. 
these guys doing work. Okay, so we want all this solarite goodness. Where's the timer? I don't even see a timer. doing what where oh yeah you Okay, these little things help a lot. Mobius Corps is mobilizing an attack against our Nexus Fort. Rally our defenses. The Mobius Corps is deeply entrenched in that location. An orbital strike would help weaken their defenses. Don't listen to him. So let's know. Revising durability estimates. Nice work. Got a repair crew inbound. Oh, I see. Looks like Mobius Core is starting to reinforce the stabilizers. Expect some heavier resistance. these things.
Uh huh. Okay, one too many. Fine. Okay, we've got six minutes. Nice work cleaning out that base, Artanis. Raiders, let's keep this ground secure. Let's see, yeah, so we can get some extra health here. Let's go and use this. Okay, look at these last two in just a couple of minutes. Calculations updated. Only one stabilizer still remains in enemy hands. We must make haste. Tuck this away right here. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. What was the other one? Low amount of time. Oh yeah, capture stabilizers. Destroy MP scramblers three or three. It looks like we did that. Good. Sorry, that one took a bit of comfort, uh, uh, concentration, and I uh, definitely wasn't talking quite as much as I normally would. But uh, all that time pressure, man. But we nailed it. We nailed it. Excuse me, we got all the solarite, which I'm sure is good. And I think we got time to watch the debrief. Chat a little bit before the next episode. That's a hell of a thing your boys did, Artanis. Totes. Sky Shield is back online. We're about to call down the cavalry. We will join you on the That's what it's like to be a good bro, Rainer. I got some bad news for you. Seems our friends below had the same idea. While we were fighting to get planet side, the Imperial Palace was raided. 
Security data indicates the keystone was taken. My mama used to never that easy. When it rains, it floods. I am uncertain as to how this saying is helpful, friend Raynor. It's not. <laughs> Me either. Wait a minute. I'm getting intel. A Mobius core evac team is headed toward Bennett Port. They got the keystone. We shall not let them escape. All right, let's do this. The solar core requires your attention, Hierarch. Please visit it at your earliest convenience. All right, so let's let's take a look at this, and then probably we'll wrap up this episode there. Solar Matrix Core, <coughs> truly an impressive sight. A synthetic star. I imagine what went into its creation. Do not look directly at the core. Protoss eat star. System analysis has begun, but the star is laying dormant for an eon. It will take time and a powerful ignition catalyst like Solarite to restore it to full capacity. Solarite? The firstborn haven't utilized Solarite in millennia. This vessel is ancient, Hierarch. We will need to exhaust even unconventional resources if we are to bring it to bear. <laughs> What is it? Solarite is Protoss for like muscle power. Elbow grease. <coughs> we haven't used muscle power in generations. Select the core to start reviewing your options, Hierarch. You look different, Space Smith. Ah, you must be referring to these mechanical arms. I constructed them to improve my efficiency while running the solar core. So far, they have been quite helpful. Yeah, okay, brah. Whatever. This array displays an overview oh. of the Spear of Adun's weapon and support systems. Each system can only be configured to have one active ability at a time. You may select different abilities to complement your tactical decisions in different battles, Hyrule. Our current available solarite is displayed here. Any leftover solarite can be routed to our auxiliary systems. You may begin diverting solarite now. Interesting. <coughs> Three temporal fields that freeze immunes and structures in time for 20 seconds. Heroic units are slowed by 50%. Well, that sounds like a good way to... I wonder if heroic units. That sounds like a good way to actually uh, kind of single out a heroic unit. The instructors unit warp in and research speeds by a thousand percent for twenty seconds. Oh, what? I mean, that might be perfect for like starting off a mission. Warps in a pylon with two melee wars and two range wars to any. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Nice little forward base and reinforcement point to call down. Hmm. Hmm. 100 versus armored, huh? Okay, let's go with Chrono Surge. Okay, giving up our deploy pylon. Sure, deploy pylon is nice, uh, but the energy cost is high, 50% more than orbital strike, and uh, it's something we can do with probes. We just need to take a probe along with us, and this is something we certainly can't do with anything else. Even this is not really, I mean, freezing enemies in place, sure, that might help, but uh, it doesn't, it, mm, mm, mm. You could cut enemy units in half, but here, come on, this is something kind of new. Then I guess we can put more. Uh, let's go with this. Starting supply is fine, but I can I can do supply myself. Let's reduce construction time. I think that's better. 
All right, so we're gonna call it right here. Looking at these creepy arms, and uh, yeah, yeah, guys. Until next time, <clears throat> do as I say. <laughs>